Hi everybody, welcome to another Easy Links Live. I'm your host, Ryan Bukema, and on today's show, today's show we're gonna be talking about some of the items that came out in our Q2 release recently. We're also gonna be joined once again by my very good friend, product manager here at Easy Links, Vijay Rangarajan. He's gonna be joining us to also talk about some Q2 items that he's in charge of. So we had an enhancement in Automation Center, and we also had an enhancement in Client Center. So we'll talk about those here in just a minute. And I think we'll try to figure out another funny way to bring him on like we did last time. So stay tuned, it's gonna be funny. Uh, so with respect to Q2 items, we had a lot of really neat stuff go out. And the first thing I'd like to focus on is gonna be some enhancements to our commercial lines of business. We've made some changes there. Uh, so what I'd like to do right now is first, let's talk about commercial packages. If we could go ahead and get the screen pulled up here real fast. All right, so as you can see, this is a commercial package. You now have the ability to select three additional lines of business. You've got workers comp, you've got business owners, and you've got garage and dealers. And you can select those, and then if we go down to the bottom and click next, you can actually see them here in the policy entry screens. And what's nice is you can, you can interact with those different tabs, change values if you need to. And this is great because you can now interact with these lines of business for both uh, manual and downloaded package policy. So that's really, really cool. We're excited to bring that to you guys. The next commercial item that I'd like to talk about has to do with commercial property. So we've added a new uh, uh, feature here that we've introduced. It's called the subject of insurance field, right? So if we go in here, we can select our building. There we go. And if we click add subject of insurance, you can select the different subject of insurance value. And if you started typing in here, it'll kind of weed down this list where we type in building. You'll start to see all the stuff with building, right? Now, you don't actually have to select a value from this list. You can enter in your own value if you want, and we'll retain that for you. And one of the benefits here that this is going to be providing is it really helps better identify insurable interests and provides you with more accurate data entry. So when you're filling out this info, you know what everything's associated to with this extra field. So really, really, really cool. We're really excited by all that. Next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to go over to Easy Links Connect. So we've added some cool new stuff here in Easy Links Connect. We've updated some of the actions for you, and those updates are gonna be updating the, um, we've had some support links. We've updated actions on the individual uh, integrations. We've also kind of um, changed uh, the ability for you to be able to go in and dismiss integrations. And then we have a cool new multiple or way to integrate multiple integrations at once. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about um, the ability to see kind of some help items or some support items. So if we scroll down and we select back nine insurance right here. So with this integration, one of the cool new things you'll see there is up in that corner where uh, where my good guy Waji is, who's running our computer for us, you have the ability to see some resources. We have a setup guide. So if you click on the setup guide, it's going to take you to a little video, shows you how to actually set up back nine. Um, if you go back, you have the same thing there for learning more about this integration. We'll tell you a lot of cool stuff about the integration. And what's fun is that this is going to be on all of the different integrations and connect. You have some resources, some material that you can go to to kind of get some support, some help items. So that, that's really positive. We're really excited about that. Next thing I want to talk about, and I guess we could just stay right here, is going to be the actions dropdown. We've updated some of the actions, so if we select that, obviously you can see add integration, so if we wanted to set this one up, we could do that. We also have the hide option here. Now, the hide option, what that'll do is it'll hide this integration so it's no longer seen, right? And I think you guys might have seen that before. Now, if you hide an integration, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You can go and unhide it so it shows back up again. But let's say this is an integration that your agency just isn't interested in right now and you just don't want it in the marketplace. So you can choose to hide it, and, and that's, that's easy. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, for the next item, what I'd like to do is I'd like to hop over to EasyLink's rating and show you a kind of a, an enhancement that we have there, which is, which is interesting. So if we jump over to rating, okay. So everybody's familiar with this. This is our quote result page. And if you scroll down, we have that section towards the bottom that says add value to your quote, right? And these are the different integrations that we have in EasyLink's Connect that show up as cross-selling opportunities or additional value things that you can put. Now, one of the things that we have here is we have a dismiss option, right? So let's say, for example, this is an integration that I am just not interested in at all, right? I can choose to dismiss it if I want. Now, if I want to be able to get it back after I've dismissed it, 
you just go over to the EasyLinks marketplace and you can re-enable the integration from there. So if I choose and I hit yes here real quick, you'll see that that integration goes away and every time you run a quote now in the future, you won't see that integration show up anymore. It's going to be gone. But once again, in order to get it back, all you have to do is go back into EasyLinks Connect find that integration and actually enable it, and then it will show up. So that's maybe a really good question for some of those other integrations you saw at the bottom of the quote result page as to, you know, why didn't they have a dismiss option? The dismiss option only applies to integrations that have not been enabled yet. So if it's enabled, then you got to do all of your management back here in EasyLinks Connect, okay? Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about if we go into, say, uh, back nine, I want to talk about uh, the very top you have an action. Actually, let's, uh, there we go, remove, right? So we have the remove option right here. Now what that's going to do is this applies to any integrations that have been actually enabled. If you choose remove, this will disable the integration, right? And then it will also hide the integration uh, from your users so that it, you won't be able to see it again, right? So if we choose to disable it, we can go ahead and do that, and then we're good to go. So we can choose yes or no here, and. Either way, right? <clears throat> the next thing that I want to talk about is going to be, if we go back to the marketplace, we've added the ability to make it a little bit easier to be able to manage multiple integrations at once, uh, to be able to set them up and integrate these things. So for example, if we type in, uh, let's say, let's go down to the client center section real quick here, and we'll find an integration. Okay, so we've got uh, uh, Mind Homes. Let's, let's see if this one, let's click on Mind Homes. Uh, and let's click on Actions, Add Integration. So this is an integration. All you have to do is click here, Set Up. You're good to go. The integration then will appear in Client Center. You're ready right there. Let's go back to the, the Connect Marketplace. And let's go to, say, uh, yeah, Back 9. Let's click on Back 9. Okay, and if we click Actions, Manage Integration. Now, one of the cool things here is... We have integrations that you can interact in in different areas of the system, right? So back nine shows up in two places. It shows up on the quote result page, and then it also shows up in client center where your insureds can go, and maybe they might be interested in getting a life insurance quote, and they can go ahead and engage with it. Now the problem though is in the past, whenever you wanted to integrate this integration and turn it on, you had to go into the um, the lead generation. Uh, section, which is for the quote result page, and you had to enable it there. And then you also had to go down to the client center section and enable it there again as well. So you had to do double the work. We've made it easier for you to be able to manage these. So if you were setting this up from scratch, you would just choose both of them that you wanted to get them set up and you're good to go. If you just wanted to manage or change something in here, once again, all you do is make sure both of them are selected. And then if you hit I agree, it updates both of the integrations without you having to go in individually. So that definitely saves you some time. That's, that's a really important thing, and we're happy to be able to bring that as, uh, as part of Connect, uh, some enhancements that we have there. <clears throat> the next thing I do want to talk about real quick is we did make some changes real fast with respect to our flood insurance. So we've made some enhancements to the policy entry screens for uh, flood. So please, uh, if you have a chance, go in, look at the policy entry screens. Uh, they'll look a little bit nicer, a little bit easier to be able to navigate. Uh, so that's a quick run through uh, some of the high level items that were in Q2. And to talk about the rest of the Q2 items, what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to bring in VJ to talk about Automation Center, right? We've added a new feature in there. And then I also like to talk about uh, Client Center, which is gonna be our payment requests, right? This is a cool new thing. So. Let's, let's think here. How can we bring on VJ do something funny again like we did last time? Uh, uh, okay, I, I got it. Let, let, let's try a little thing like this. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sorry. You were, you were supposed, to be, supposed to get an email. And it, hold on, hold, hold on one sec, one sec. I, I'll be right with you, I, I, I promise. Uh, yes, you were, you were supposed to get an email. And inside that email, it has a link to Client Center, and that's where you can go get your ID card. Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry. I just forgot to send it. Yeah, we, we've been really, really busy. I, just, I wish there was a simple way to automate all this stuff. Hey, agent. There is a way. We now have templates in Automation Center that will solve your problem. What? No way. This way. Let's take a look. 
Okay, so uh, here it is. All right, so we've got the new templates in Automation Center, and I, I think one that relates to what we just kind of saw the little skit is uh, the welcome your new customer. So let's click on that template. And BJ, talk about this. So yep. obviously you can add filters, but if mm -hmm. we go next, I think the thing that's really neat here, yep. look at that, we already have predetermined stuff set up for the users in the system. Exactly. That way we already have any, if we click on edit email, let's see what that thing looks like. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's go to preview. preview. Let's view what one of these is. So this is already set up for the user, right? Exactly. You know, we understand making new clients feel welcome is of utmost importance, right? Mm -hmm. That the agent we saw, right? right? right. Uh, and passing along relevant policy information, the moment in force should be a priority. So th this welcome email campaign, like you said, it's a drip campaign. It first welcomes them. Two days later, it sends this, all these instructions related to client center. Uh, what are the things that the customer can do? Getting ID cards. Uh, you know, uh, downloading documents, generating certificates, everything is already set. All the information it's is already set. In it's the already email. built for the users, right? Yes, so yes. if we leave out of this, if we hit close, yep. and we go to the final step here in the workflow, mm -hmm. so we basically, so we have a template. It's already written. Mm -hmm. We're letting them know what it could be titled. Now, they can change the title, right, yeah, if they yeah. want? They can make changes uh, that make sense to their own agency, but the goal here is to make it easier for them, right? Yeah. It's predefined filters and actions. All they have to do is just set it and forget it. Well, right? I, I like it that it, the templates are, I think, are extremely valuable because it gives everybody out there an idea of mm -hmm. what they could, where they could go. It's a good starting block. Yep. You know, yep. That's yep. a good way to look at yep. it. So for everybody out there who might not be aware, Vijay, talk about the philosophy of Automation Center, why we're doing the things that we do in it. Yeah. So if you look at EasyLink's philosophy as such, it's very simple, right? Uh, we want to find places where agencies are spending too much time accomplishing a task and then develop a way for software to give that time back. Mm -hmm. And Automation Center is so amazing that it eliminates the manual redundant activities that for agencies by automating these workflows, right? And we would like to, we would like the agencies to embrace this tool and leverage it to the fullest so they can save that time and invest that time in growing their agency or scaling their agency, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's where, and uh, like you just talked, Automation Center is now equipped with these templates that makes it easier for agencies to follow the best practice workflows. Mm -hmm. These templates, not just welcome your new customers, you can see, you know, uh, it helps with organizing the account information, sending birthday uh, wishes, all that stuff. It empowers these agencies to keep up with the ever-growing list of customer expectations, right? This is really neat. We've got a lot of templates in here now mm -hmm. that you could go in, you could look at, you could get an idea of what you could do, mm -hmm. and then you could jump off from there. Yes. I, this is great. Huge, great addition to Automation Center here in the Q2 release. Really excited about that. Yep. The next thing I want to talk about real quick before we run out of time, uh, the payment requests in Client Center. We, you've got some new functionality there. If we go to one of these accounts right here mm -hmm. and we click on the, there's an icon right here you guys will now see. Mm -hmm. um, that's how you can go to start the payment request. VJ, talk to me about what this is. Yeah, so EasyLinks introduced uh, the payments feature uh, last year, mm -hmm. the ability for agents to get payments from their customers through client center. Agencies are loving it. Many agencies are using that, mm -hmm. right? This upgrades the payment processing experience for agents uh, by providing a simple way when they are servicing their account to collect the electronic payments by sending a request, right? Oh, okay, I get you. So, yeah, so instead of customers having to go and pay, this sends a request to them, and the customers can simply go and make the payment in Client Center. Oh, that's pretty good. So, so we have one-time payment like everybody's used to when they go into payment processing. Mm -hmm. We've got invoices. If we click that, it actually pulls the open invoices. That's great. And then they can choose to send that. Oh, delivery method, it's email or text. Yeah. So, so it'll text the request to them, or it'll email it to them, right? Yes. And I'm guessing there's a link. Yes, it, right? there's a link. Uh, on in both these communication methods, uh -huh. like email or text, and the customers simply have to access the link, uh, log in, and then make a payment. So they click the link, it takes them to the client center, they log in, directs them right to the payment page. Mm -hmm. They don't yeah. have to go anywhere. Really quick and easy for them. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. And it's so good that the agent is proactively able to request, right, rather than waiting for the inshoots to 
go to client center, look for these payments and all that. It's it's a nice reminder to be yeah. able to send out to make sure that, you know, your insureds are on top of things and they're getting, you know, you the payments when you need them. That's really important. Exactly. VJ, this is some really, really cool stuff. Thank you so much for joining us today. Real quick before we go, though, I do want to touch base on um, uh, the Newslinks article. We talked a little bit in it about Retention Center and kind of the power of Retention Center. Now, if you think about it, millennials are now kind of some of the largest customer sets, right? And being a millennial, I think we both are, uh, one of the things that we always kind of look for as millennials are the best deal, right? So with respect to insurance, if we see our rate goes up really, really high, we'll immediately go out there and start shopping. And, and there's so many different tools out there right now. You can just go to a website, you can get a quote immediately. You know, it's a lot faster than it used to be and everything's at the insureds or our millennial fingertips. So retention center helps you identify those customers who might be high risk for leaving so that you can have proactive conversations with them in order to beat them from going somewhere else or shopping somewhere else. Now, yes, their premium might go up. Uh, they might have an increase in, in premium or whatever. But the point is, is that a retention center helps you locate those customers and have renewal conversations with them proactively instead of being reactive, right? Because it's horrible to be reactive and, you know, you get a call from a customer, I'm leaving you. Mm -hmm. Well, why? Why? To be proactive and be able to jump right on that, that's kind of the power of retention center. So exactly. please, please take a look at the article. It's some really good read and it provides some really great information for everybody out there. Um, that's all the time we have for today. Me, Jay, as always. Thank you. Well, I Thanks, love man. having this guy on. We do funny stuff. <laughs> Um, that's all the time we have. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the show. And until next time, as we say here in Texas, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.